in the currency quadrant, taking a look at the March Japanese yen future up 1% today, actually up 1.46% on the highs today, 7906 was the high in the March contract, second session higher with good volume. We don't know today's official volume, but yesterday's volume was very, very strong. This week, we end up over 3% since the lows the week of December 17th. The yen is up just short of 19% and is up 10 of the last 13 weeks. Today, we finished up just short of 1%, about 8 tenths of 1%. On the downside, only a tenth of 1%, 77.85. So it was basically a straight up day for the Japanese yen. Now, Data-wise, Japan had a light data week last week, but that's changing in this coming week. This week for Japan, you get the PPI figures, the November tertiary index, the Reuters tank and index, machine orders, industrial production, inflation data, and a Bank of Japan interest rate decision. And that Bank of Japan interest rate decision and meeting is critical. It happens Tuesday night, and their last meeting, they expanded the band that the JGB, that's the Japanese 10-year, could trade into, taking the upper end of that band to 50 basis points or half of 1% on the yield. Well, the last few days, the market has been testing that upper band, and that's likely why we've had Japanese yen strength involved as people were taking yen off the market to buy that JGB and try and push that yield higher. This particular Bank of Japan meeting, we're going to see if Kuroda and the rest of the members of the board of the Bank of Japan have anything to say about that, any action to take to try and curb it, or if they're going to loosen those bands again. So if you're a yen trader, keep an eye out on that BOJ meeting that happens on Tuesday night.